Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? This is your homeboy, Seth McDonald 4. I am doing a workout training video for you. Um, training video, workout video, whatever you want to make call it. Most people call it workout videos, but I call it training videos. Because it gives you new ideas, new ways of staying fit. And everything. Me, I'm just doing some push-ups, normal push-ups. No, nothing fancy, you know. Sometimes I might switch it up, I might do it on fists. But that is very, you know, just depends, you know, me having a shoulder injury, I have a pinched nerve in my, I think maybe my back of my bicep in between my shoulder. Sometimes it will jar from, pain will jar from my shoulder to the bicep, it varies. Um, I've been doing some stretches for it. I modified my push up for it to be easier for me to do because of the injury. Um, I don't want to give up on the push up. Push up is one of my favorite exercises. Um, but the thing of it is, um, push-ups only help you with the chest, the back, and the biceps. Now, and this next exercise after the push-up would be, you name it, jumping jacks. What are jumping jacks are used for? They're used to get the heart rate up, blood flowing, and to be able to get your body all nice and warm. Um, basically, you know, it's an easy exercise, nothing, nothing fancy, it's just basic exercise. Another, another leg exercise, um, today I'm focusing on these three movements, was basically the squats. Squats, they help our legs out. They help our legs get stronger for each each of the day um they help you lift things they help you um walk they help you climb when needed um helps you get up out of bed in the morning legs are the ones that we need to train on every so often throughout the week um me i train on um i walk all day so it's like it varies just depends on how my left foot is you know i had surgery on my feet a long long time ago but I've been going to a chiropractor every so often, realign my feet and my shoulders sometimes when it starts to throb or whatever, when it needs to be popped back into place, whatever it may need, you know, to get the job done. But it's like, but I still train no matter what because, you know, that's my lifestyle. Um, I mean, even this little pain in me, I mean, I, you know, I push through it no matter what, I don't quit at it. I mean, I don't care what the pain is, um, I still push through it, you know, it's like, you know, I push through the breaking point, and that's what, you know, most people need to do, so, you know, today's people in, in, in the today's world of working out, they don't like to push themselves too hard when they're in pain, when they're hurting, when they're, you know, when they're uh, injured or anything like that they want to rest the injury well if you rest the injury it will never recover fully because you'll be always babying it so the way i see it yeah i may rest it one day you know out of the whole week like one week out of the month you know I'll let it recover in that area then i'll go back to it you know after a while but i don't baby it that long usually i usually baby it maybe about a week and then I sit down, whatever, and then, then I'll go back at it, you know, the next week after, you know, and so on and so on. But, you know, I still have my gains on what I worked on. I'm not losing it any, you know, it's just since, you know, when you do have injuries, you know, you got to take things a little slower, but you still got to push through, through the pain, through the, you know, injury part on your injury and, you know, that's the thing of being a warrior, you know, you just can't be weak, you know, you can't let your enemy show you that you are weak. You know, you gotta be strong and everything else, you know, me, it's like I said, you know, if you are injured, if you can't stand the pain, usually try to, you know, work on a different body type. There's no say, you know, if I can't do chest or a back workout, you know, I can't work out. You can train other parts in your body, you know, just to get in shape, you know, you don't just need to train your chest until that shoulder fully heals you know you can train in other parts of your body you know like your legs your stomach your arms um your forearms 
um, your waistline, um, your back, um, lower back, your sides, whatever, whatever body part you need, may need to stay in shape and to get fit and everything else. But the only thing I, mean, I want to say is, you know, doing these three exercises back to back, I do about 10 sets of 20 reps. That's 200, 200 reps in one night. Um, if you're if you're a beginner, I would start out with 10, 10 reps with maybe five sets and then go on to whatever else you may have to do. But if you're ultra medium, do five sets of 20. Um, that's 100 reps there. And, and if you're advanced, add on to what you do. And just keep pushing forward, keep moving, keep being strong. Even when you are going through a lot of arthritis pain, that is just because of aging. You ain't getting younger anymore, you're getting older. Um, and that's the thing, and you know, always stay positive, stay moving, um, eat better, you know, try to, you know, stay fit. You know, it is getting on into the winter months. You know, winter months is always the hardest to lose the weight, to stay motivated because, you know, winter time, everybody wants to lay around. They want to munch on potato chips. They want to stay inside, play video games, do whatever, um, drink beer, you know, feel sorry for themselves and stuff like that. Me, you know, when I'm getting ready to work out, I don't have no beer at all. I, I stay focused to my to myself. I put on some good workout music and once in a while through my headphones that I am using. Um, if you wonder what type of headphones I'm using, I'm using Skull earbuds. Um, they're pretty good. Not best quality sound, but they are pretty good for cheap headphones to work out in. But other than that, I mean, you know, staying fit, staying motivated is the top priority in the martial art world. You gotta work for your body. You gotta be able to work your mind and your heart as well. You know, staying fit, staying healthy is the number one thing. And like I said, just be yourself, be who you are. Who cares what other people think when you're training? Because if you always care about what people think on how you look, you know, you're always going to be ashamed of yourself. Me, you know, I don't care how I look. You know, I'm going to work. I don't care how I'm dressed. I go to work. I don't care how I look. Whatever, you know, I don't care what people think of me. And, but, I, I push myself to the limits because I want to be the greatest. I want to be the best. I want to be number one. Because, you know, there are people out there that are more advanced than I am, but that doesn't matter. You're doing what you're doing, what you're capable of doing now. Because, um, just staying moving, staying in shape is the best opportunity for a healthier life, life, <clears throat> a healthier lifestyle, and to stay motivated at things you love doing um it's like i said please hit the like hit the subscribe and you know show the heart the love the caring for my channel you know as your fitness coach i am seven dollar four and online fitness trainer in the martial arts and plus into um the fitness realm of staying in shape and um if you want to look me up Look me up on Instagram if you want to message me. I am seven thousand four. Um, look me up there. Message me. You know if you want to end up. You know getting some fitness tips and everything. You know just message me there. I'll do my best to help you guys out um, whenever I can. I'm not on there that much, but I do check my messages there on there. On there, you know, once in a while. I just you know did my YouTube thing and that's about it. But other than that, please hit the like. Hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, make sure you hit all 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 on the bell notification. That way you'll get every one of my videos. And please, please share your friends, share your family. Train hard, train smart. Do your research. 
But most of all, be yourself. And stay motivated, stay strong. Always have the eye of the tiger, like Rocky Balboa said. Or be like Muhammad Ali, flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee, young man rumble, young man rumble. So all you gotta do is have the motivation. Stay humble, stay kind, stay at peace. Peace out.